We're going to turn back and head home today. They're going to close the border. It's cold, mummy, it's cold. The Premier hasn't closed the border. I just need to see the snow. So we're going to give it a shot. It's risky. Um, so, we will keep going. Strikes like never give up! It's taking longer than we thought, but we're 28 kilometres from Jindabyne. Tuesday, July 13, 2021. A dangerous experience. Currently in Dubbo, we have woken up to a very cold morning. Our roadkill death count stands at over 100 kangaroos along our journey in the snowy mountains. This roadkill death count is a result of animals, mostly kangaroos, being on the road and being hit by other cars and trucks late at night. However, our journey had an unexpected experience due to our late arrival to Jindabyne, an experience we'll never forget. am here in Dubbo, the holiday park, and it's a bit foggy. Foggy this morning. It's about three degrees, so it's quite cold. We're going to turn back and head home today and not make it to Jindabyne due to the fact that it looks like they're going to close the border probably midnight tonight, probably tomorrow. Um, so we're going to start heading back towards Gundawindi. We're going to stay there for the night, which is that's right on the Queensland border, so we'll be we'll be safe in that way. So it's a shame we don't get to see the snow, but that that sort of happens. Not much we can do about that. But no, it looks like a nice day here. So it's going to be another nice drive on the way back. So we're going to be looking at around another full day's drive to get back towards the border. So I thought, why not start with a coffee and we'll um, get the kids up and mummy up soon, and we'll. Make, make for the road, have some breakfast, and then make, make our way to Gundawindi. All right. It's cold, Mummy, it's cold. Okay, so the Premier hasn't closed the border, so we will keep going, Mama Lalabs. But definitely she will close it maybe tomorrow yeah. midnight because the NRL, the football people that lives here the in New South Wales. The whole competition. Lives here in New South Wales will be transported by tomorrow. So possibly she's going to close the border. After that. Tomorrow mm -hmm. midnight. So we can still head today to Jindabyne. Touch the snow or touch anything <laughs> in Jindabyne. The thing is, Jindabyne is our destination. We're so close. We're that so close that if we're going to turn back and ended up, she's not going to close the border. It's really like a waste of money. So we will just keep. We'll keep on the eye. Yeah. On the news, on the news, yeah, on the way, and keep going, keep going, keep going. And just be prepared mm, that. She's, if she's going just to be prepared it. that yes, we we could be in for a very long drive back yeah. to the border, and that could mean driving through. But the at night, least, so. at least we've done this journey and never ever do this one or going back again. I feel half completed because I'm, <laughs> I'm 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 wearing my my cold weather gear, so I'm happy. <laughs> I just need to see the snow. Don't you dare. And Kia's got something to say. Strikes like never gives up! There you go. We never give up, she says. So we're going to give it a shot. It's risky, but... But we're going to give it a go anyway, so that hopefully we can get some footage of a little bit of snow. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Because we've got to hit the road and see where we get. Let's do an update, too, of the news yeah, and just see will. what's going on. All right, let's go, guys. Let's go.
Alright guys, so we've got a bit of an update, we've just left Dubbo. So we're going, we're in Dubbo, we were, we were in Dubbo, we've left Dubbo. We're just on our way now, we're just going through a little town called Wellington, which is quite attractive, it's a very old town. Um, on our way to Cowra. Hopefully we get to Cowra sometime around lunchtime, around midday. It's 10 o'clock at the moment. We've got roughly 530 kilometres to go to get to Jindabyne, so we've got a long way ahead of us. So yeah guys, as we leave Cowra, which is 152 kilometres here, I just passed a sign, and we end up going up the back of the snowy mountains on the main well, snowy mountain see. highway. Yeah, I do too. Um, that'll be not, Hopefully that'll be quite nice, possible snow there. And then we go down the other side of the snowy mountains um, and track into Jindabyne right down the bottom there. And that's where we'll stay. So along the way, we're just going to be keeping an eye on the news breaks. Yeah. And if there's any breaking news of anything that's regarding a, a, a border closure midnight, we've got to obviously have time to get out. We could still get trapped here. Yeah. Um, we turn around and just go back on a yeah. massively I long mind, drive. Yeah, no, I no. don't mind that very long drive. I can swap daddy if daddy needs to, yeah, we have to rest and then me driving. I don't mind it as long as we uh, kind of completed this journey, even just to touch base the gender bind because that's really our journey. I don't yeah. mind not going to the mountain, Parisha ski resort. I don't mind as long as we've been to Jindabyne because that's really our destination for this um, road trip, yeah. Beautiful country out this way there, guys. Nice. nice. Yes. Who wants McDonald's for lunch? You yeah, always sure. say no. Who wants McDonald's when, for lunch? Oi, sure. when, oi, look, when we ask you, you yeah, say no. no. And oh, when okay. you say it, now we're saying no. Well, we'll see if Mummy says. But who wants to go to McDonald's for lunch? Yeah, yeah. we also have these muffins. And yeah. we can have them at the same time. Cara, guys, that's where we are. Yeah, we can stop at that place. There's a little park over there. We're just getting, we're just refueling. <laughs> We're refueling and we're going to stop for a break and have some lunch before we make the rest of our way. Lunch, we're still, we're 371 kilometres still from Jindabyne. A um, little way to go yet. We should be there around 4.30, but because we're stopping, that's going to probably increase. Excuse us, guys. Yes, we're not promoting healthy eating again, but we are hungry, so we're, and we're in a rush. So you've got to do what you've got to do sometimes. No, no time to cook. Yet. Unfortunately, we're in Cowra. We are in a nice little park here. All the trees here are very dormant, aren't they, Mummy? They're very dormant, so I think this would be a very pretty park, actually. And it's cold. In its time, no, yeah, look, it's nice. Hey, get out of it! Don't do that. Hey, hey, hey! It is cold. It's about. Right. One degrees. No, it's not. It's 15.
away at Jindabyn to reach our destination at Jindabyn for tonight. We've just turned onto the snowy mountain highway. That's long, two hours. Yeah. yeah. 12 degrees! And you know up here, all the trees, if you see those ones, it's just dead. Oh no, they're not dead, they're just dormant. Look at those! See, imagine during spring, during spring mga lala, flowers and trees. Yeah, it's, um, it's a beautiful <gasps> town, Tumut. We are in Tumut. It's a nice park though, isn't it? I would love to see pictures of this in summer, wouldn't you? Oh yeah, yeah, of course. Or in spring. It is a six degrees. We are six. Yeah, six degrees. Twelve. Yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but the road. Okay, when there's a snowstorm, this road will be frosty. It will be covered with oh, oh my God! Mommy, mommy, mommy. Covered with snow and it's um snow snow. But I think at the oh, moment we're fine. Oh, we're not. <laughs> we have to keep it going. Well, it's a lookout up here. It's Excuse me. Let's go for a lookout. You want? Oh, it's freezing, guys. It's freezing. Watch out, watch out! Wow! Be careful! <laughs>
Mama's dog. And then um, Casey and me um, I don't, and Mommy saw this Brumby on uh, the left side of the road where we were um, driving. Dark yeah, it was brown, really so dark, brown. It was dark, yeah. yeah. We crashed into it. We hit the um, Brumby. A wild horse we call a Brumby. Yes, we hit the Brumby coming down. On the um, neck and the head. They luckily, hit him in the head. I mean, luckily we didn't like fully crash. Yeah, and we kind of swerved. We swerved away and luckily... Did get damaged? A little bit of damage, but the, I think the horse will come off worse. So, the thing the came mirror, off, the mirror's broken. They can't and see it the windshield did break and crack. Yeah, but the horse, we're not sure about. The horse didn't. The horse was hitting the head. So we'll show you in the morning. Let's go. It's taking longer than we thought, but we're 28 kilometres from Jindabyne. It's two degrees. Ready? Let's all smoke together. Smoking Brumbies. Let's go. Hey, get out of it. <laughs> All right, let's go before we... Let's go. Get in the car. Hey. <laughs> Where's the way? There are your Hey, guys. We've made it to Jindabar. So we're in our... We're at Moon Bar 2. This is called Moon, Moon Bar 2. Our, our little unit. Let's have a look inside. Mummy's cooking. She started. I'll give you a quick little tour before we finish for the night. And here's our kitchen. We are actually renting a house and it has two bedrooms. So this is the master bedroom and it's very, very cold in here. There's the heater, but Daddy said that it's not. Is it heating? It's like. No, it's not. No, it's very cold. No, it's nothing. It's not much. <laughs> yeah, this is the bath. Um, this is the bathroom, toilet, and stuff. It's just cold. I'm not even game to touch water. So this is the kids' room. It's pretty big. It's pretty big. So they've got um four, two bunk beds with four beds in it. And look, guys, guys. What's in there? Ooh. Yeah. Look at that, what's that? Oh, it's a garden. Wow. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> and put the, put the curtain. They've got DVD, TV. It's nice, it's big one. Okay, guys, this is the footage that we got from this um, tonight when we drove down and um, snowy mountain wild. and we hit a uh, Brumby. There was actually three yeah. of them. One, two and three. It was a scary but yeah it it, it made it made some um, damage. Um, the windshields broken and oh, no, yeah. the side mirror yeah. the side mirror is broken the side too. Mirror came off as so this is supposed to be a Korean barbecue, but we have no time to do it because we're not allowed to use the butane anyway inside. So what I'm going to do is just cook it all like this and serve. So yeah, we'll show you more of the house tomorrow when it's light because it's dark and we're hungry and it's been a long, long drive basically today and we're still not sure about what's going on with the borders and what's going on. We know. Yeah, we're still waiting. We're, okay, we're hanging. We're just, we're just kind of doing it like day by day. So. Day by day, but the, the way things are, it looks like we'll probably need to go tomorrow when we hear what her announcement is. Um, yeah, we'll let you know. Yeah. We'll see. Anyway guys, I'm going to eat, we're hungry, and we're tired, and we just want to rest. you a snippet while we eat mangalabs if you want to join us. Can someone get me a knife and fork please, or just a spoon and a fork will do? Mama Lalabs and we come back. Snow up ahead. There's the snow. Oh my god! 
Hello, you go, Mangalala. I'm so oh good snow. Guys, we have made it to Threadbow. That's a snow shower. Oh, no. <laughs> Oi! Destination fulfilled. Oh. Go! We did what we wanted to do on our trip. Oi! Oh, yeah. 